Hi YouTubers, it's Smokey SC77. Again, this is the first time today, first video. Uh, only video today like usual. Um, this is going to be another health related topic. It's been a while since I've done a health related topic, so I thought I'd do another health related topic. Um, this video is going to be about just a random topic like usual. Uh, there will be a new series coming pretty soon. But another random topic today, it's a health related topic. I was just thinking, I've wanted to do this video for a long time, probably a couple months, so I'm going to finally do the video. This video. Um, what are the benefits to quitting pipe and cigar smoking? Okay, that's a pretty broad, broad topic. What are the benefits to quitting pipe and cigar smoking? Um, as you know, I smoke pipes, tobacco pipes, and cigars. I no longer smoke hookahs. I no longer use nasal snuff. I no longer use cigarettes. I no longer use cigarellos, gas station cigars, so I only use pipes and cigars. And I don't inhale pipes and cigars. So, what are the benefits to quitting pipes and cigar smoking? This is interesting because my video, uh, three and a half years since I started smoking, is coming up soon on October 3rd. And I'll be talking about this more in, de in detail then. So, so, what are the benefits to, qu to quitting pipes and cigar smoking? Well, first of all, what have I noticed health-wise? Um, I'm just going to briefly go over it, not in depth. I'm going to go over it more in depth on um, the three and a half years since I started smoking video. But anyway, basically I've noticed not much from pipe cigar smoking after almost three and a half years. You know, dry mouth, dry throat, you know, a little bit of a scratchy throat, <clears throat> like that. So, not much. So, what are the potential potential benefits to quitting pipe and cigar smoking? Um, well, I can think of four. I can think of four. Number one, I would have more money, you know. I don't spend a lot of money on my pipe and cigar smoking hobby, or habit, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't spend a lot of money. You know, probably, mm, in general, with exceptions, I probably spend about $50 a month on my pipe and cigar smoking uh, hobby. So, 50 bucks, not a lot of money. So I might have more money to spend if I quit pipe and cigar smoking. Um, also, I think I would have more. T secondly, I would have more time to spend. Like um, I wouldn't have to, you know, go out twice a day and smoke a cigar pipe. As you know, I can't smoke in my house, so I wouldn't need to, you know, go outside and have a pipe of cigar. So that's one bit. That's another benefit. You know, I would have more free time. But really, it only takes like you know half an hour. Not half an hour. Um, you know, hour and a half to do the pipe of cigar smoking twice a day, so maybe two hours. So, I have more free time. Thirdly, I think I wouldn't have a dry, a dry mouth as much. I think my dry mouth would go away, my dry throat would go away, my dry uh, tongue would go away, and I would just have more of a, a more moist mouth um, from quitting pipe of cigar smoking. I think the biggest benefit would be my risk of, my risk of uh, oral cancer and my risk of uh, throat cancer would go down. Pipe and cigar smoking does carry, you know, obviously because it's carcinogenic, it's um, not good for you. It does carry um, a slight risk, you know, of oral and throat cancer, you know, depending how, how, how often you do it, depending how often you do it. And there are so many factors that, that go into that, you know, what kind of tobacco you're smoking, how hot the tobacco burns, you know, you know, do you always put a pipe in this side of the mouth, you know. There are a lot of factors that go, come in. But I think that's probably the biggest benefit is I wouldn't have to worry about the potential, you know, long-term consequences of pipe and cigar smoking. Um, but as you all know, you know, a one-time smoker is like a lifetime smoker, so once I smoke, um, once you smoke, you know, you increase your risk. So I will, I will always have, you know, even if I quit smoking, you know, years and years in the future, I still have, you know, increased risk than a non-smoker who's never smoked. So, anyway, just a random topic. Um, want to do and yeah peace out bye see you later and yeah uh, give me your thoughts comment do a video response personal message me all that kind of stuff subscribe rate and yeah peace out bye see you later and yeah bye